a tough cat, didn't it? We've been working so late, it's just about morning. At least all's well in the ocean. Oh, it'll be great to get back to the octopod and get some sleep. Aye. What's wrong? Hmm? Nothing. If nothing's wrong, why do you keep growling like that? Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not me. It's my belly. I guess I'm hungry. Hmm. Come to think of it. My belly's feeling a bit empty too. How about you, Peso? Are you hungry? <laughs> There's a monkey. Where? <laughs> no monkey, Peso. We're all just tired and hungry. I see a nice sea grass meadow coming up. What do you say we stop there and have some breakfast? Ah, oh, yes, please. Oh, glad Juni packed all this food for us. Me too. I'm starving now. Oh, kelp cakes, my favorite. My least favorite. I can never get these thingies to work. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Storm could last. 
just a while. It's a big one, Captain. Mm. It's Janice. She's in trouble. Hey, so sound the octo alert. Cafe's all powered up and ready to go, Cap. Peso, quasi, into the cafe. No. 
another girl, and a boy, and another girl. Hey, Janice. Sandy, I'm so glad I found you. You're so beautiful. Nothing. All in the line of duty. You're so adorable. What are their names again? Well, that little guy is Barney, short for Barnacles, and that really handsome Ipa is Quasi. And that one's peso. Oh, that's it. 